Hi and welcome to City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. A major social media company chooses Papillion for its new global advanced data center. And the city's annual spring cleanup is a few days away. And the Local Schools Foundation gives out several grants to local schools. You'll hear from one of the recipients. Please enjoy these stories next in City Happenings for the week of April 10th. Thanks, Mayor Black. Governor Pete Ricketts was in Papillion and makes a big announcement. Nebraska is wel welcoming Facebook to join us here to help grow their company. So the first thing I'm going to do is unveil what the facility will look like. The entire complex makes up nearly one million square feet. We're terribly excited about the opportunity to be able to have Facebook here and be able to help us grow our burgeoning uh, data center industry here in Nebraska. This is really a great deal uh, for our state because it really helps us develop the technologies and the infrastructure around data centers that will help us be able to grow our state. State Senator John Morante says Sarpy County and Facebook have a lot in common. First of all, uh, as it comes to, to growth, as, as we all know in Sarpy County, Sarpy County is the fastest growing community in the state of Nebraska, and Sarpy County is one of the fastest growing communities in the Midwest region. Uh, so to have a company like Facebook, which is one of the, the fastest growing uh, companies uh, on Fortune 500, to me, it makes a lot of sense. It's a, it's, it's a relationship that makes a lot of sense. Uh, second, when you look at the rankings that come out from national publications, the best places to work, live, and raise a family. Sarpy County communities consistently rank among the highest of the of, of communities in this country to work, live, and raise a family. And if you look at some of uh, the best companies to work for, the best employers in the country, Facebook consistently ranks among the best companies in America to work for. The state legislature's newest member, Senator Robert Clement, says this is a great way to start his term. This is my first public speaking opportunity as a state senator, and this is my first project to get to <laughs> <laughs> announce it. I think I'm doing pretty well to <laughs> start off with a Facebook announcement. I'm really excited about it, and it's in my district. I represent just the southern part of Sarpy County and Cass County. I uh, really appreciate all the hard work that uh, the state has done, Facebook has done, and uh, arranging for this uh, great event. And uh, with that, I think I'll just close by saying I hope everybody in the state of Nebraska will like this new page on Facebook. Mayor David Black lists the positive impact this project has. And there's going to be hundreds of construction jobs that are created out of this that have direct local impact. Um, those are putting people to work. Those are keeping companies uh, companies going. Um, it also puts, if you're local, you hear a lot about sewage south of the ridge line. This puts in part of the permanent infrastructure for sewage south of the ridge line. That's a direct benefit to the city of Springfield and their economic growth as well. Um, that is not an insignificant uh, investment. Um, it's also part of the continued growth. Highway 50 and Highway 370 is really important now for manufacturing, industrial, and headquarters industries. This helps keep that going and really jump starts that as well. That's jobs and industries that are critical to the entire state. Sarpy County is an economic engine for the state of Nebraska and it's centered in that corridor and Facebook is, is in the middle of that. A um, lot of conversation about public-private partnerships and they've been mentioned and those are absolutely critical and uh, they would not have, uh, this investment would have been, wouldn't have been secured without those. It's time for the city's annual spring cleanup. It's an event that's free to the citizens of Papillion. Any, any of our water customers are allowed to bring this, uh, bring stuff to get rid of it. We, uh, it's just a way to clean up your neighborhood and clean up your home and to keep Papillion looking beautiful in that. And it's just, uh, people look forward to this. The event is more than two decades old. This year, there's something different. We're going to take some additional recyclable uh, electronics. So basically, if you can plug it into a wall, we're going, to, we're going to accept it. Uh, computers, mice, keyboards, cables, wires, battery backups, any type of batteries, data center equipment, routers, telephones. 
ball chargers, electrical instruments, projectors, flat screen TVs. There are some items that will not be accepted. We will not be taking or CRTs or two tight TVs or monitors. Uh, those three things there, we, we won't accept paint and oil and household chemicals and that. We won't accept those. There is a place under the sink over on 120th and I Street that you can take that stuff to. Tires, we won't accept tires. Them can go, you, if you got tires and that, you can take them down to River City Recycling off of 60th and Harrison Street. Lemming gives tips on the best way to navigate through the drop-off site. If you're bringing multiple items in that, when you're, when you're going to pull in, the first two locations are going to be recyclable stuff. So you're going to want them put on last so they'll come off and then and there's a tree dump site and then the far site is where your waste is going to be in. You know, we ask that you separate, you know, it's got to be separated because we, we pay to have our trees ground and if metals or something th goes through that grinder then it just costs us more money. Lemming emphasizes to secure your items. We've had in the past some people bring in some tree limbs and that and they've fallen off and there's been an accident or two caused by that. Uh, the police will be watching to make sure your loads are tied down. Uh, so we don't want to see you getting a ticket for bringing something that's not tied down. We know it's just a short haul here in the community, but we want everybody safe and, and that, so we want you to secure your loads. Plan your schedule so that you don't get caught in peak times. Weekends seem to be pretty hectic, you know, sometime early, you know, in the mornings and throughout the day, but, you know, just we ask that you have your patience and it's, it's free, you'll get in and get out fairly easily. We got the staff that are here working that makes your experience down here very enjoyable and just uh, remember it's a free event and have patience if you're here during a busy time, but your wait won't be that long. The spring cleanup runs from April 20th through the 23rd, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. Shredding will be available on Saturday from 9 to noon. A Hickory Hill first grade teacher gets a big surprise. She received a grant from the Papillion La Vista Schools Foundation to help in her technology class. Oh, I am so pleased with the grant because I think I'm really going to be able to help my class and then I hope the other first grade classrooms too will be able to use it and um, be able to just use technology and learn to keyboard and all those things that so that's just part of their regular day and they, it's not um, so hard when we have to get things out and do it. The money will purchase external keyboards for iPads. We're very lucky to have iPads each day to use. So these will attach to the iPads so that they can keyboard on something they're used to. We're really used to the iPads, so it'll help us that way. Rhonda points out that teaching technology to first graders is a challenge. Technology is, is so important to the kids continuing education and I just want to try and find lots of ways to fit that into our daily work so that it's not just an event when we put technology in but it's just part of our regular day. Having Facebook choose Papillion for the new Global Advanced Data Center is a major move for our city. Thanks to all of you for making Papillion a standout place which attracts great businesses such as Facebook. There are lots of things happening in Papillion and many ways to stay up to date. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel. And information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.